It isn't a trip with Kelly if there isn't. And of course, we got one of the ridiculous bacon bagel cheesy things that are so good for you. It's not a fishing day with Kelly, but it doesn't start at baby. Good morning, YouTube. It is a bright, sunny day here in Key West, and look who we have on board. Your girl Kelly has not been down here for, I think the last time was uh, the ending of lobster season last year, wasn't it? You've been down here since? I don't even remember. I came down and, and visited a few times, but we never got out on the boat. So she's like while. super famous and busy now, so we feel really fortunate that uh, Kelly's down here. We don't have Philly on the boat today because we think it's going to be a little bit bumpy and we're deep dropping, so there's a lot of hooks and stuff around. and. We don't want to uh, stick Finley, but he's back at the house chilling. He's been super good this trip. So Kelly, tell everybody what we're doing today. So we're going to go out there and try to, well, we're going to deep drop, hopefully hook into some fish. Uh, yellow eye, vermilions, AKA bee liners, uh, maybe some blue, blue line tile fish, and a hopefully it's snowing. Hopefully it's snowing. We can get to the spots. So we're going to, um, Kind of the winds out of the east, but when we do have it's not terrible. We're gonna head out to our first spots and then we're just gonna go west with it. And that way, uh, yeah, deep enough we can come back, you just come back through the lake so you don't have to run into this stuff. We will keep you posted once we get set up and get out there. Uh, Kelly will be filming, I'll be filming, and uh, be sure to see her video. She'll get seven million likes, I'll get 70. So, uh, <laughs> I wish, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you can uh, you can definitely subscribe to Hunter's page if you want to. Wait, do that hand thing you do when you shut them. <laughs> we'll see y'all out on the water. Okay, you do it like we were saying. We thought it'd be a little bumpy today. I always see when Kelly's down here, we, uh, we hit a little bit of wind. Not terrible, we got twos and threes out here. Whoa! What do you think, Kelly? We had it worse before? Oh yeah. <laughs> this, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. We're about four miles from our first spot. We'll let you know how it goes. We're here with Kelly. We think we've got our first yellow eye on that we're bringing up. We lost the rig and now we changed, uh, changed the rig to a little bit smaller hook. Now you see it's less of a bounce. That just means the fish has blown his gas and he's uh he can't really swim down as much because he's, he's experiencing barotrauma. This should be a vermilion or a yellow eye snapper. We'll know in a minute. Kelly's making the last reels on this. Fish. Yellow eye. A couple of yellow eyes, isn't it? Yeah, a couple. Nice ones. So she's gonna walk this forward and bring them in. Yeah. There you go. Oh. All right, we're getting situated. We got the lead and the rod holder, and we have two very nice sized yellow eyes. Look at them. If you want to know why they're called a yellow eye, we couldn't figure that out for the longest time. <laughs> We're gonna do a couple more drops here and then uh, we'll move on. Fish in the boat. And folks, you can see we were talking about the bear trauma earlier. See how his eyes are bulged a little bit? That is from the gas expansion coming up. Um, so these fish, there's no size limit to them because typically when they make that ride up, uh, they're done. And, uh, but it's a good harvest and they're just a delicious fish. Kelly's gonna get them off the hook right now and uh, get them up in the ice. She's reaching that gill under the breakers. Hey, really stuck them. Hey, he's still kicking. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, his, hey, he's alive. Now his eyes aren't bulged. You know, that's a fish that you could probably, if we were uh, looking to release him, that's probably a fish you could send back down. Good chance of him surviving, but he's gonna go on the ice and uh, 
make fish tacos. Fighting all the way up. We had to work out we all these fish. Just tough kind of fishing here. Yeah. I'm gonna film this one. catching fish but these conditions you can see these waves and it's pushing us the wind and the tide are together and uh, we got some four footers even some five footers out here and uh, it's making a little bit of a challenge to keep our drifts tight but uh, we're catching fish mission successful so far we got two yellow eye in the boat and these are some pretty nice ones too they do get probably three times the size of this but these are perfect perfect fillets for sandwiches tacos ceviche really you can do anything it's just a really beautiful nice white filet there so well first one's going on ice and have fun little guys like we said earlier we're just gonna go sites and uh, our plan was because the winds coming out of the east to head west and um, so this is called a following sea and it's a lot smoother than running into it but you kind of surf some of it your bow will go down and it'll splash up but it's much nicer than running into it Let it sink down below it and then try to pull it in slowly. I think it's got some grass on it, doesn't it? A little flying fish. So folks, what we're doing uh, between our, uh, our deep drop spots, we saw a nice uh, line of grass in about 350 feet here. It's cobalt blue water. It's perfect for my and uh, Kelly's just throwing a bucktail down the grass line and just seeing we have the uh, we had some uh, little peanuts come in on our bucktail, so we're hoping maybe there's a bigger one here. First blue line tile of the new season. They open one May. They, they open He's May. excited because you got a red porgy and they've never gotten a picture of one. Got some good pictures to add it, to the arsenal. Ooh raw. Yeah. As you guys see, it is the afternoon right now, and we went ahead and flayed the rest of the fish. I went ahead and scaled, gilled, and gutted these yellow eye snapper and put some scores in the meat. All right, so super easy. I already did this side. You're just gonna do score, score, score. And you could just do that, that's fine too, but I like to make it checkered just cause it looks kinda cool. Just like that. All right, so this just kinda came to me. We went to the local grocery store and just picked up a few things. Um, nothing crazy, kind of like ceviche inspired, but I went ahead and made like a little topping for the fish after they're done in the frying pan. Just an, two oranges, uh, an avocado, a gala apple, gala, 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 gala apple, <laughs> and some cilantro here. And I just made a little concoction with a little bit of lemon and lime juice. Just gonna use some salt and pepper. Now we got our fish. First, I set it.
actually looking super Key West style fish right now. I'm gonna call this the ceviche whole cooked yellow eye snapper with hunter sport fishing charters. If you guys ever want to come down to Key West or if you find yourself in Key West and want to go fish, lobster dive, snorkel, scuba dive, get scuba certified, that's the whole thing. We Pop some lionfish, we do everything down here. Everything. You guys check out my buddy Hunter, you won't regret it. You'll definitely catch some fish and put some meat in the cooler. I am super excited to try this. I know it kind of looks like a lot, but I'm excited. Alright, let's dig in here. This was the prettier snapper. You can have that one. You know, she says it looks like a lot, but she did this really, it's super simple. Uh, not a, a lot of hard stuff, not a lot of hard planning. Anybody could do this. This little medley mix. This oh, is yeah. great. We better find out. It can um, another thing you can do too is if you do flay your fish, for example, you have Kibera snapper, flay your fish, keep the scales and skin on the fillet, and then when you grill it, Grill it with the skin side down. It's gonna lock in all those juices, but mm, right now, sun's going down. We're gonna end this video, you guys. Sometimes I get comments for talking with my mouth full, so hold on. All right, we're gonna end this video. You guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a positive comment below, and we'll see y'all next time. See ya.